What's up, Cancer? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. So happy to have you here off location at Kaiser Permanente Hospital. I'm fine. I'm doing a little bit of rest and recuperation <clears throat> for my cystic fibrosis. I'm good, though. I have so much time to kill. I was excited and in good energy to do these readings for you. So we're going to do a fun little spread for my cancer friends uh, on career and finances today. Please do keep in mind, as always, oh, you got poppers. These are general messages. That means, <clears throat> excuse me, not everything I say is going to resonate with all the cancers out there. Please only do take away messages for your best and highest good, and you will know intuitively what those are. Um, if you would like additional messages, please feel free to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you don't know how to do that, there'll be a link in the description box below. Uh, it'll show you how to generate your birth chart. And in that description box below will also be all the other information you need to know about this reading. Uh, that will include the decks I'm using today as well as my social media channels. So go ahead and check that out if you are interested. Other than that, we're going to hop in for cancer, for career, and finances. All right, so for cancer, your energy is coming up as beautiful. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles, so the Worker's card, the Apprenticeship card, the Artisan card. Uh, I always say this is a card of focusing on the work at hand and living in the now. You're not caught up in the past. You're not, um, uh, you're not so focused on the future that you're losing sight of, of what's important in the now. You're doing the work because you enjoy it, because there's knowledge to be learned, there's skills to be perfected. Uh, it's a great energy. It's, it's worker bee energy. Um, but you're very reliable. People see you as hardworking. Um, and let's see what's clarifying it. <clears throat> the hanged man. <clears throat> okay. So some of you have reached a plateau is what I'm getting here. Um, it's, it's not that there isn't work to be done, but this has come up in, in all the water sign reading so far. There may feel like you're not getting anywhere. The hangman being the card of Pisces all up in those feels, <clears throat> feeling like you're not making progress. Um, I did a general uh, reading on, on Instagram too, and the same message came up, the idea of it doesn't feel like you're getting anywhere, but have you stopped to reassess where you were a year ago? It's reminding you that s little progress, small progress is still progress. It's, it's not about doing a total transformation overnight, right? And you know, this is no card number 12, right? We're moving on to card 13, which is death, transformation. So the transformation is just around the corner, Cancer. So don't get frustrated by the delays or the hangups or, um, or things maybe that seem like you're getting sidetracked or not going the way you anticipated. I'm just getting it's all part of the greater plan. And even the way he's kind of holding his head like, oh gosh, this isn't, this isn't going the way I had hoped. Don't get frustrated in, in that cancer. Keep doing the work. That's really important here. Keep throwing your heart and soul and most importantly your efforts, right? That's what pentacles can be. Your effort, your body, um, your health. I mean, don't sacrifice your health. That's important. But uh, keep throwing whatever it is into this this project if, if your heart is in it, right? If, if you're hoping to see success and hoping to gain progress, the progress will come. But yeah, some of you have plateaued a little bit and you might not see a lot of change, be that in your bank account or in your title or in your pay raise or whatever that is. You may not see change immediately, but have faith that it is going to come, okay? So your challenge or focus this month is the sun. I say this month, this is really um, meant for whenever you come across this reading, whenever you view it. <clears throat> Being clarified by the king of cups. Okay. So sun, it's the card of happiness, the card of growth, the card of joy, illumination. <clears throat> happiness. Your challenge or focus has to do with happiness and doubly clarified by like emotions and joy, potentially in the form of a person. Um, <clears throat> so for those who are not feeling like they're making any progress, you may find joy in outlets that involve other people, but I'm almost getting your challenge is to stay focused on the work. You don't want to let other people become a distraction to you and what's interesting cancer is it's not so much that the people would be a distraction it's the emotions surrounding either those activities or those people that are that are distracting you from work 
the emotions is, is what's going to get in the way. I don't know if some of you are dealing with kind of a nasty relationship or, or it doesn't even have to be nasty, but even if you're just starting to date, right, and you're in kind of that fun honeymoon stage, that may distract you from the overall goal of achieve, achieving like success and glory regarding this, this work or this project. Stay focused on the task at hand because like a bright future is ahead. Um, and it may be a brand new start, um, whatever that means to you. Um, it may be something that you've always dreamed of and always always wished for. The, I don't know why the, the idea of wish fulfillment is coming up here with cups. Um, and I mean, it's possible some of you may meet somebody that that you know makes your heart flutter. You may meet your king of cups. But it, what this is saying is that opportunity to meet this person who you potentially have a, a love relationship with. It would come because you're putting in the effort and the work and you're working through the challenges and frustrations of that delay. Um, I know some cancers can can be sort of impatient, no shade, right? Um, but that that's a difficult quality, right? And so uh, when it's a difficult quality when you're being asked to be patient, right? So keep riding, keep riding the waves, keep fighting the fight. Um, happiness, if you're not feeling it now, and I think some of you aren't, you're, I think you're feeling frustrated, happiness is around the corner. Um, keep, you're just getting like, keep down the straight and narrow, keep throwing your heart and your love into your efforts. But again, the challenge here is don't get distracted by people or the emotions that, that may arise or come up because of either, I don't know if it's the project or if it has to do with, again, these distractions that are meant to make you happy I don't know if you go out drinking with your friends, right? You know, you go out dancing, drinking with your friends out to dinner, but then there's some sort of chaos or something and it spawns all these weird emotions. You know, maybe you and your best friend get into a fight and then all of a sudden you're at work but you can't focus anymore. It's something like that. You know, you're at work, you can't focus because you're so worried about what, what you know, how to fix the situation with your friend. That's just an example, but that's your challenge is um, be careful, be careful who you're investing into. Um, I mean, time or money, right? But it's specifically emotions. The help available to you is hermit mode. Pisces just had this as well. Uh, the idea of um, introspection, not going out and partying, right? Remember how we were saying not investing too much in other people at this time because it's going to distract you from the work? I hate to say it, but this is like go solo cancer. Um, remove yourself from society, whatever that means to you, for a little bit. This could mean take a vacation. Um, this could mean take a couple days off work to, to take care of yourself spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Um, if you are frustrated and seeking answers about what to do, you may need a couple days off to like, um, to, I'm just getting like channel those messages to, to, um, to shed light on some sort of information that is going to be crucial to you. Um, the advice or guidance to you is be alone, spend time with yourself get extra rest, you know, meditate, go to yoga, go for a jog, um, whatever that is to you, curl up with a book, um, you know, Netflix and chill, whatever that is, it's solo, it's one. Um, removing yourself from, again, chaos and distraction is going to be helpful to you. Take a, take a breather, take a rest. Being clarified by the hier Hierophant. Again, uh, well, I shouldn't say again, but commit to the work. Yes, it's delayed. Yes, you may be frustrated. Find joy in what, where you can in the moment. Uh, this, this can be the card of commitment, and I'm getting commit to your work. Commit to what needs to be done to achieve that joy and that happiness. Um, both these cards are cards of spirituality as well. Um, so some of you may need to, um, to get in tune kind of with, with the greater things in life, to not focus on maybe like petty, everyday, again, distractions, technologies, whatever. Go back to just like you and nature, you and the universe, you and, uh, and your soul work. Um, if, if you are at all spiritual, right, go to church if you go to church. Again, just take time out and do you. Spend time in nature, that might be important here. Um, there's a need for you to be alone with yourself and at peace, just like resting. Um, and I think what it's what this is saying is that's going to be helpful to you because you need it to um, recharge your battery so that you can show up to work the next day and like really kick ass and not be distracted and not be hung over or whatever from some chaos that, that occurred the night before. Um, yeah, this, this is encouraging you to do like soul work and do like energy healing. Um, 
you may be spending time with a Taurus or a Virgo at work, um, or you may have that strong in your chart. I actually think that's more what's coming through. Uh, you have a card of Leo, Scorpio, Pisces. So your advice or guidance here uh, is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so the exhausted soldier, the wounded warrior, someone who's been through a lot of battles, someone who's been through hell and back, and he's still standing, right? But he's got some wounds, right? It hasn't been an easy battle. This is you, Cancer. Um, don't give up. The temptation is there, and some of you may be even, this can sometimes be the card of being defensive because you've uh, been tricked or you've been fooled, you've had your heart broken so many times, you've been vulnerable, you've let your guard down, and now it's like you, you have your guards back up. You're suspicious of everyone. Um, it's being clarified by strength. So again, be strong, don't give up. Another card of Leo. I feel like Cancer has had a lot of Leo energy come up recently. And I mean, we are in Leo season, so that makes sense. Be confident. Take risks. Be bold. Um, stand up for what you want to do in life. Stand up for yourself. Um, keep building and working towards your dreams. Sorry, Cancer, my camera froze. So it, this is saying commit to what you want to do. Commit to your higher purpose, if, if that's what you want to call it or whatever you feel like you, you were just put here on this planet to do. Um, it may involve guiding others or helping others. It may involve working with children or doing something, again, this comes through for cancer every time, something <clears throat> that is emotionally healing or helping towards other people. Um, it's almost like if you I think a lot of you are desiring to work in either a job or a career that helps people, but you also are in this stage of, I don't want, I don't want to um, be mean when I say this, but almost victimhood cancer, because you see yourself as I help other people, but who's helping me? Nobody's helping me. That's the point. This is a test. This is calling you to be a bigger person, to to tap into your higher self, right? To to operate in that higher, happier energy, that lighter energy, to not let like your shadow side take over. Because yeah, you have been to hell and back cancer and this is asking you to be strong. Be strong a little bit longer. Um, prove to yourself how much you're willing to fight. And, and again, also to, to something greater, um, that you're willing to put in the time and the effort and the hours because it's because it's where your passion lies that's what's important here um, because you have great love for what you're doing because it brings you great joy don't give up there's going this could also represent obstacles and barriers there may be things that it feels like everything's getting in your way and again you're stuck this is like bust through the wall whether the wall is outside of you it, whether it's a person or a boss or somebody telling you you can't do it bust through that wall but it also has to do with yourself bust through that that lack of, of self-confidence that um, that doubting you may have um, that constant questioning of do I deserve this should I go after it am I creative enough do I have these skills yes you do you're incredibly strong cancer you're stronger than you know um, and I'm just getting that if if you feel like you're always going at it alone you're gonna have backup you're going to have support um, very soon or, or in the future there's there's going to be someone who you can finally like sit comfortably with and feel like you're supported and that doesn't have to be a romantic partner but I think for some of you it might be um, again it, it could also be like a parent or a best friend or whatever but again I want to be very clear that comes not from seeking it out it comes naturally when you heal and take care of yourself and stay committed to your individual path cancer to, towards whatever this work endeavor is that's going to be one of like the fun joys and um, perks, if you will, of staying committed to your path and, and again, what, whatever it is that you're going after, partnership may arise from it. Somebody could bust through your wall, right? If, if you've guarded your heart or your emotions or something, there's going to be support and strength for you on the other end. I hope that lands for some of you. Okay, Cancer, that's what I got for you. Um, please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know if any of that uh, resonated with you, and I will see you guys next time. All the best to you, Cancers. Bye!